Hey guys, how you doing? Anonymous here. We're going to be building a uh, Mr. FPGA using the acrylic. Actually, I have wood plates, uh, CNC plates that uh, we're going to be showcasing. You can have the file for free. It's uh, linked on my Twitter. It's also going to be uh, Zero Fire has, has a modification to the plates uh, with 3D printed buttons. But yeah, let's do a build. So you start with a, uh, a DE10. And you just take off the, uh, the top plate here. Now you're able to like kind of piece everything together however you want. This is just the way that I do it. You also don't necessarily need the uh, the top analog board or a powered USB hub. You can use a dongle. We, we just completely, uh, we don't use this top acrylic uh, plate that comes with the D10. Now the D10 you can buy from Mouser, Digikey, Amazon, all kinds of different places. Be sure not to, uh, you know, pay the scalpers price. So it should be anywhere from 130 to 140. Okay. Take the plate and you throw it. So it has two size uh, standoffs. It has, I believe it's 10 millimeter and 14 millimeter. We don't use the, uh, in this build, we don't use the, uh, the 10 millimeter ones. So we just take them off and we repurpose the 14s to underneath the uh, the assembly. What did I say? <laughs> you guys trolling me, you, you sons of a sons of a gun? All right, so the first thing you want to do is include the uh, the heat sink here. Include. Yeah, I'm like whenever I do like a YouTube take, I always like scramble my words and stuff and stuff like that. I don't know. I get nervous for some reason. Because the YouTube stuff gets a lot more views than Twitch does. Like one of my Mr. Build Build Mr. Build videos has like ten thousand views on it. All right, so what we do, or at least what I do, is I take the original D10 Nano uh, standoffs that come with it. I put them on the underside, and then uh, with Zero himself. Uh, when you order a USB hub, they include uh, extra standoffs. So I use those 14 millimeter. We have two 14 millimeter standoffs going into each other like this. The D10s uh, is a little bit thicker and these are a little bit thinner. So these are able to use, this is standard and that's metric, I believe. So uh, make sure to use, you know, it doesn't really matter. It's the same spacing, but you just want to be consistent with which ones you use on the top or bottom. Well, Twitch is live and YouTube is archived, you know, so you can watch you can watch Twitch VODs uh, after the fact, but YouTube just has such a bigger reach and, uh, you know, people, you can actively search uh, content on there. So it, it that's why I think a lot more views happen on there. Oh no, I have one reverse. I think. Oh no, I don't. Okay. Good. So with this latest run, uh, thank you again, Proc, for helping me design these. Uh, I had some, I basically took the, the official case and kind of made it a little bit more modular. So these files are out there. They're on my Twitter. Um, you can get them cut from different like acrylic places or you can make them yourself. They're in a uh, P PDF, but I believe there's an SVC out there as well. So we're going to do a build using uh, the wood case. And then just for example, like these are, these come out a lot more neon. Uh, there's a backing plate on the back, but these are the, you know, example of uh, using acrylic. 
All right, so let's, uh, with this build, the, the USB hub 2.1, the power uh, goes on the same side as the power of the DE10. So you, you're gonna put the power of the, the power jacks on the same side. Then take uh, the plate and you're gonna screw it in. I just repurposed the screws that come on the D10 uh, for the bottom. All right. Now uh, it's optional, but you can, you can put little uh, standoff, you know, adhesive rubber standoff feet in the bottom. If you want there to get a little more grip. The uh, USB hub um, from Zero himself includes a little USB bridge. So you just put that on the side with the ethernet port, these two USB to the far right. Okay, next I like to install the, uh, the analog. IO, you have the Ethernet pay, uh, port face towards you and the buttons face towards you. Line up the uh, the big black connector with the pins to make sure the standoffs are all lining up correctly, as well as these pins over here. You want to make sure that they are correctly all in there. They are. Okay. <clears throat> now I use uh, 13 millimeter standoffs for the top of it, right here. Uh, but before we do that, actually we can do it now. So you just put 13 millimeter. So that just spaces the uh, the top plate above the fan. Yeah, the uh, the 6.0 and, and on uh, for the for the IO reaches. They used they had a 5.5 XL, but now it's just standard that the uh, the board reaches the the full way. Now these um the plates that I have designed they will work with either way. The buttons stay in the same place, whether you have an older board or a, a newer 6.0 or newer. I think they're up to 6.1 now, which just includes an extra line for uh, for the snack. And a little bit simpler components. All right now we install the RAM. So for this build I'm using uh, 128 uh, megabit SD RAM but you can use 32 or 64. The, uh, the SD RAM module will include uh, this side faces outward so you have a row GPI pin uh, row here you face that outwards and you just you just sit it like a hat like that. Uh, with the D10 comes a SD card, a little eight gigabyte SD card. You're gonna wanna move that and put it into the top. Um, most of the computer cores don't really use this SD, the secondary uh, SD card anymore, but uh, just in case, you can put it up there. It has a small, uh, I think it's like an eight megabit or something like that partition. Uh, but you can reformat it and just make it a giant fat 32 or uh, X fat in there. So I already have an SD uh, card prepared. Uh, all we did was use the SD release card tool that is format that is on the, um, the Mr. GitHub, the setup page, and then uh, ran the updated PC script that you can download and you can actually run it on your Windows. All right, let's do the uh, top plate here. And 
and uh, yeah, I like using I like using these uh, you know facing the hex standoffs male to female on the top. You could use a, a female to female here, and then um, have a screw that goes in goes through the top instead of using nuts like this. But I kind of like the industrial look of the of the nuts. Yes, I said that. <laughs> Demonetized. <laughs> So that is our finished wooden build. Looks pretty nice. I think I still like the acrylic better though. Um yeah, I think I don't I think I'm gonna be shipping this out with the acrylic. That's why I'm not gonna put the rubber feet on right here. But let's just make sure it's up and running. With the uh with the um 2.1 USB hub, you will get a uh a splitter, a power splitter, and then you can find these uh inline Power switches, you want to make sure one that's been tested and rated, it doesn't drop the voltage too low. Uh, Zero himself sells them on their uh, on their web store as well as uh, Mr. X Mr. Add-on. There's the power, Ethernet, and then the uh, control and HDMI. Oh yeah, I didn't think about this. You can't the uh, the lights are kind of hidden from your point of view. I can still see them though. If they're the Mister, I think would always face you know towards the person. All right, so we have the uh, the Mister up and running. If you guys have any questions, you're welcome to um, follow me here on YouTube. Um, I do live streams on Twitch. Uh, I also tweet whenever I'm going live on Twitter. I have a very active Discord that talks about the Mister and other technical stuff. But uh, mostly, I just want to thank everyone for uh, this is my also my 3,000 followers on uh, on Twitch stream. So if you're on Twitch, thank you so much. And um, yeah, join the Discord, be active, do cool stuff. Don't uh, don't yell at somebody that asks you know if they're if Raspberry Pi is better, if they should use that, or Mame is better. Do whatever makes you happy, guys. You know, this makes me happy. Uh, I love the simulation, you know, hardware based simulation using an FPGA. So I'm really happy with the project. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye.